One of the most common places we see and use higher order derivatives is when we're talking about the position of something that is moving. And so if we're measuring the change in its movement, that's its velocity or speed. And if we want to measure the change in that velocity or the change in speed, that's going to be the acceleration of that thing. Those are each derivatives of each other. You might represent the position of something with some function f of t. So after t seconds, it's f of t meters away or something. If we want to know how fast it's moving, that's the velocity. The velocity we usually represent with v of t, the velocity at t, which is just the derivative of the position. And where our higher order derivatives come in is if we want to know how fast we are accelerating. The acceleration, which we often represent with a of t, is how fast the speed is changing. Are you speeding up or slowing down? That's the derivative of the velocity, which is the second derivative of the position. So for example, if the height of a balloon at time t in meters is given by the function f of t equals 4t cubed plus 2t plus 9, we should be able to find the velocity and acceleration after two seconds. Because we know if we want the velocity, that's just going to be the derivative of the function f of t. Well, we can find the derivative of f of t really quickly using our power rule, giving us 12t squared plus 2 that is the velocity formula. Well, we know the time is going to be 2 seconds. So we'll find the velocity at 2 seconds is 12 times 2 squared plus 2, or 12 times 4 plus 2, which is 48 plus 2. The velocity is 50, and it turns out that that is meters per second. This balloon is moving at 50 meters per second after two seconds. But is it speeding up or slowing down? How much is it speeding up or slowing down? To figure that out, we need to find the acceleration. And the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity or the second derivative of the function. So looking at my function for the velocity, when I take the derivative of 12t squared, I get 24t. The derivative of 2 is 0. So I really want to know at 2 seconds, what is the acceleration at 2 seconds? That's 24 times 2, which is 48 meters per second squared. Because that's positive, we are accelerating. We're getting faster at 48 meters per second squared, while the balloon is going up at 50 meters per second at 2 seconds after this function began. Positions. Derivative is the velocity. Velocities, derivative is the acceleration, which means acceleration is the second derivative of the position. It's your turn to practice some of these higher order derivatives on the assignment. Good luck.